The NASA Mars Exploration Program has progressively approached the Red Planet. Every successive mission has boosted our expectations that Mars could have been a habitable planet, a place that could have supported life. This program of orbiters and landers have brought us to the point of seeking a habitable environment on Mars. Uh, we landed uh, at the, uh, there where it says Curiosity Landing Site, and we drove just a few hundred meters in the opposite direction. We did this deliberately, and this was based on the mapping uh, that the science team did in advance of landing, and based on the previous mapping that came from Odyssey and MRO and all those great missions before us. And in this particular case, it led to the deliberate discovery. So it, it wasn't serendipity or luck that got us here. It was the result of planning. This really is just picking out the five uh, major gases that were evolved from the sample. And let's start with what's labeled water on top. But the mass that we're monitoring that is mass 18. Uh, that's the signature of water. Uh, the, the red peak is likewise carbon dioxide. The carbon dioxide is produced either from oxygen reacting with carbon in the sample and making this carbon dioxide, or really the other alternative is a decomposition of a carbonate. And both of those possibilities are just fascinating, so that's what we'll be uh, pursuing as we, as we progress with uh, new samples and so on. Landing there and then almost right off the bat, we do find evidence of water. We see a ancient riverbed. We're now finding uh, an environment in the near subsurface, you know, not too far beneath the oxidized layer of finding sort of a neutral rock. All the things that we were really hoping for to find a place that could have been habitable in its past.